Tom, there is a huge Anglo-American European uh, difference. We see it in the chart of JP Morgan, UBS, Deutsche Bank, and maybe with a little bit of a bounce in the last week. Do you get a sense that the EU banking, UBS, and the rest, that they're migrating towards a more Anglo-American framework? I I, I think that there still are very big headwinds for the European banks. Uh, they're in a lower for longer state, which the American banks were able to leave uh, uh, several years <clears throat> ago. Right. Um, and, um, and the American banks also were very quick to deal with any problem assets after the crisis. Just last week, Sabadell did a big bad asset sale. The Italian banks continue to make bad asset sales. So they're still dealing with some of these issues many years after the problem. So the cleanup is still somewhat underway. And you could see it in the ROE. Many of the European national right. champions have single-digit ROEs. Meanwhile, the American bank ROEs. 11, 12, 14 percent. Exactly. Where are the American regionals? Are they ROEing just to look at one relationship like the two big to fails? Uh, no, their ROE is a little bit better, but, but there's an inflection. The regionals are better? Correct, but there's an inflection coming, Tom. It's going to change. Bank America is probably undergoing the, the biggest profitability improvement of, of any big bank that we follow. They earned 10.8 on equity. We think in 2019 they're going to earn 18 on equity. There's 18 percent. There's a big ramp, and the wow. and the ramp is coming with tax reform, modest revenue growth, mm -hmm. no expense growth, and share repurchase. And so these big banks that are that are doing well are going to be doing better. We think over the next couple of years. All right, so uh, Don, these are the big banks. What happens to the medium banks? Is it the big bank? Is it winner takes all? Uh, we think that the regional banks, the outlook is still very bright. Now there are still issues on the horizon. The industry ha is in the process right now of reporting a very good quarter. Uh, but some of the, the the bigger topics that are being talked about are deposit betas, which is how quickly the banking industry has to react to rising interest rates. And what you're seeing is within the regional banking industry, you're seeing a difference in performance there, and investors are very quick to reward the banks that have uh, exceptional deposit bases. So there still are some challenges in what is an improving environment for banks. Are, are you expecting any consolidation in that kind of smaller to medium bank space? It's, it's here, it's right now. And, and what's interesting about that is we have about a quarter fewer banks than we had at the time of the global financial crisis about a decade ago. So the number of bank mergers aren't as big as they used to be during the heydays of bank consolidation. But if you look at it on a percentage basis, it's at an all-time high since interstate banking started. Uh, mm. Right now, the run rate is 5% right. consolidation. You can't sustain this magical excellence in return on equity. Financially, things change. We are constraining our too big to fail banks. They can't grow any bigger as well. So strategically, almost like a McKinsey kind of thing, Michaud walks in the room, is it just about scale and we're going to have a merger frenzy that well, we've let waited me tell you for this. for 20 so, years? So you know what? Scale is now working. And all this talk of decades of will scale work, scale is now working, and it's working especially in consumer banking. So the big four banks control 40. I'm minting it. Yeah. Well, they, they control 40% of the deposits in America. They can't acquire other companies because of the cap Congress put on them. So instead, they're going down the digital banking path. And we're seeing them get real inroads. Can Goldman Sachs compete with them? Can Lloyd Blankfein compete with well, them? Well, here's the deal. You know, so I have, I have big respect for that company, but they're late. So Bank America, J.P. Morgan, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, they've been doing it for a very long time. Uh, the banking business is not an easy business. Yeah. So they are yeah. ramping up now. And what's interesting is we see Bank America's return on equity pulling away from Goldman's over the next couple of years, which is something that hasn't happened before. Okay.